Nelson Mandela, and Martin Luther King. And then, you know, I was really fascinated about them because everything about those guys were people who would give themselves selflessly for no immediate gain whatsoever. They would go through hardship, they would do what needed to be done for one simple fact, just to make other people's lives better. And so things like that just really pushed me and I felt that this is what I wanted to be. These guys were my heroes. And you know, they had amazing futures. They were selfless. You know, a lot of the times, straight to the point, truthful. They were fair, they were good, they were kind-hearted. And basically, stuff that seemed a lot more superhuman, things that people will say is inhuman today, because our excuse for doing stuff that we shouldn't do is that we're human. But there were people who would actually do these things. And then we all had other icons, you know, then uh, religious institutions, and sometimes our parents were the icons. But then my world crashed, and these things started fading away. The icons of old were no more. You know, it now became human to have faults. It became human not to be good. It became human to not be perfect. And I started wondering what kind of world I was living in. But fortunately for me, I met superheroes. I met amazing people in the pages of comic books who, as a child, taught me that you could do great things simply because you can. The moment you have the power to, any power whatsoever, the moment you have the ability to, you could help people simply because that power gave you the responsibility to do so. I saw human beings taking an extra step to save people. And even though they were not doing it like my religious icons, they were still doing it better than most people that I saw around at that point in time. And so my dreams came alive again, and I had new icons. And icons for me <clears throat> have always been about people who had top moral standards. And like I said, I found them in superheroes. And as I grew older, I started to understand that human beings as a whole were creatures of habit. Every single thing we do is something we have picked up or learned somewhere. That's why Nigerians sound alike. That's why your, your children will sound like you. That's why um, an Igbo boy who was brought up by Igbo parents will sound like an Igbo boy. Your bad boy will sound up because we're creatures of habit. We learn every single thing we do. Our brains are programmed or it's not gotten from something that you have been exposed to. When your brain gets a problem, it responds, and it goes into its, uh, it goes into its store, and it takes what is there and uses that to respond. And then it dawned on me that countries like America, for centuries, have used superheroes to make their citizens give all for country. I mean, let's look at the icons that most of us grew up with. And I'm talking about, I'm sure a lot, a lot of people will admit that they knew superheroes, but if you ask, everybody here knows Superman. Everybody here knows Spider-Man. Everybody here knows Captain America. Look at their uniforms, red and blue and yellow. All three of them are most heroes, come from the colors of the American flag. What do these guys represent? Strength, stability, the ability to do great things. You know, there's this thing we say in Comic Republic, maximum effort, when you give your all to achieve a dream. And guess what? They've even taught the world to believe that America is the superpower. I mean, you hear Americas are around and you believe the problems have been solved. And we watch their movies. I'm sure everybody went, to, and most people here must have heard about Wonder Woman or went to see Wonder Woman. And so these people have been able to mind conditioning, creating icons of people, people at the base doing amazing things with whatever powers they have. And the power is different, just like people. We have different people with different abilities. And so it dawned on me, it is time we create our own superheroes. It is time we teach the next generations of Nigerians that we're not latecomers, we're not mediocre, we do not cheat. 
we are good people. We are beautiful. We have good black hair. We have lovely skin tones. And most importantly, Nigerians can save the world. We have the power to change the world as a whole. And so I decided to create superheroes that look like us. Nigerian Prime is a savior for the world in general. He's the fifth element. He is made to protect the world, but his costume is green, white, green. I mean, if you look at it, green is the color of nature. We have one of the biggest gifts. We can actually represent ourselves with purity, which is white. And then everything that, I mean, it's said that the grass is green on the other side. Look at, we represent all things green. We have characters like Iriti, which means hope, by the way. You know, that you can be hope, you can teach people to have hope, no matter what. We have characters like Eru, which came from Iberu. And he says, face your fears, and you can cut everything. I could go on about Nigerian characters that look like you and I. But the biggest thing there is, as a Nigerian, it is time we take on the world. Not because we aspire to, but simply because we can. Because we are human beings with great potential. I mean, if you can survive one year in Lagos, you can survive anywhere in the world. If you check it out, Nigerians worldwide are achieving great things academically. In fact, in the US, statistics shows that Nigerian students succeed better than any other students anywhere else in the world. You can do your research. And so it is time we tell our own stories. It is time we teach the next generation that nothing is impossible, that the only limit they have is themselves. It is time we teach the next generation that we are responsible for our brothers and our sisters. It is time we teach the women that their place is not just in the home, but that they can protect as well as the men. It is time to teach Nigerians as a whole, true superheroes, that we can be world leaders. I am Jide Martin. I believe in superheroes. I believe in Nigeria.